specific roles people saw me in, you know, navigating that. When you're, as a light-skinned black woman, I was always seen as like, you're gonna be the villain, you're gonna be the bully, and I was like, what's that about? Um, I'm a nice person. Um, <laughs> or, you know, I, getting, being put into roles that maybe should have gone to other people. Learning that throughout being in this industry. Um, what do you mean by that should have gone to other people? Colorism, you know? Um, being a young, being a 14 year old in the industry, you don't know about that, right? You're saying, you're, you're hustling and you're saying yes to things and, and obviously I had my own, my own challenges, but I got to really learn about how I can support my sisters um, the more with my voice, like with my agency, when I get sent a role and I'm like, I don't think I should be auditioning for this, nor do I think anyone else who looks like me should be auditioning for this, and these are the list of people who I think should. At what stage in your career did you have the confidence and find your voice to be able to sing? It was during Dear White People. I mean, like, Sam White was just like, like running through my veins, and I learned to just use my voice and not give a crap about what happened after. Like, all, all that mattered to me was saying what needed to be said um, because I knew how important that was.